Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to God on a New Level. We are Hank and Brenda, Brenda Kuhneman <laughs> coming to take you to a whole new level in God. We're going to go notches unknown today. Amen. We're notches unknown. <laughs> Nachos, notches, whatever. When I get done, I might have some nachos. I but think anyway. we're going to hit a skyscraper Amen. today. Well, we're so glad that you joined us. We pray that you've been enjoying these programs. In fact, if you have been enjoying them, why don't you just go ahead and let us know that somehow. Contact our ministry. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we always like to know how to pray for them, too, yes, because we, we do. really do. We uh, have intercessors here that pray for the people around the world. Send us your prayer requests. And you're the reason we'll we're here. We really, I know that sometimes, you know, we, we talk uh, into the screen at you and we just would love to hear from you and know how you're doing and how you've been benefited by the program. Uh, I want to mention this. We've got something exciting. Some of you uh, like to travel and go to conferences or maybe you're planning some kind of vacation. Every September, yes. this September, September 20th through the 22nd, Brenda, we have our annual conference. Opening the Heavens 2012 this year. We call it OTH for O-T-H, short. OTH, yeah. And this year, we always have powerful speakers. Oh, every time. National, international speakers full of the anointing of God, mm-hmm. incredible signs and wonders, I miracles. I haven't had one year that I've been disappointed. Mm-hmm. It's been so powerful. Mm-hmm. I've received, in fact, this last year in 2011, we received some just incredible, oh, incredible ministry. We had Bishop Mark Sharona with us. Yeah. And he's coming back he's this coming back. year. Yeah. This year, not only do we have Bishop Mark Sharona uh, coming back, mm-hmm. but we also have Matt Sorger coming. Yeah. And then we have a concert with... Martha Muniz. It's hard to believe. I, you <laughs> I know. know I, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, I have a feeling we're going to blow the ceiling off of this joint when she comes and sings and ministers to us. And so we, we nobody just, can sing like her. Oh, she's, she's amazing. Anyway, we so. just want to invite you to come. It's Thursday through Saturday. Come and be with us. I think and Martha, we'll minister too. I think we'll be yeah, ministering we'll and minister preaching, too. praying for people, prophesying. That's what we love to do. We That'd love to great. minister to folks. Tell us the and dates again. September 20th through the 22nd, and it's completely free. You don't even have to register. You just come on out here to Lord of Host Church in Omaha, Nebraska. You can get right on our website, right where you're watching right now at hankandbrenda.org, and all the information should be right there for you. So please and come and join us. And our new books come out. Yeah, and we'll right. sign them at the conference. Yep, we have two new books coming, and we're going to... The Daily we'll Prophecy. The, yep, we wrote the book, Daily Prophecy. Yes. You wrote a powerful book called uh, the, the Prayer from the Crypt, I know. which is one man's prayer for the saving of his family. And yep. it's about how to reach your family yeah, for, Jesus. for Jesus. So make sure you get out here to right. OTH this year. We'd love to have you. It'll be a powerful time. But we want to get in the Bible yeah, today. Yeah, let's go for it. And uh, I'm ready. something that was uh, I want to just really give you an, an encouragement is that God, sees the good in your life. And now you what as you maybe you've been a Christian for a long time, maybe you're a brand new Christian. I want to give you a perspective today about how the Lord sees you. And, you know, the Bible calls the devil the accuser of the brethren. He and he yeah. always has some bone to pick with you. The devil always has something to point out that you're not doing right. And, you know, we know that we all have faults and that we all have little shortcomings and failure areas where maybe we don't ever feel like we measure up. Sometimes we can be so focused on that, we just get right over into condemnation where all we see is is the bad or the negative in our lives. And the devil is just there to capitalize on that. He just wants to, he's the kind of, you know, he'll just kick you when you're down and he'll just rub it in whenever you make a mistake. And so I want to just reverse that a little bit today and talk about the fact that God, when he looks at you, in fact, I was talking to our son, John, just the other day, we were talking about the blood of Jesus. And when God looks at you, he sees you through the blood. So when he sees you, the Bible says that we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When God looks at you, he sees you through the blood of Jesus. Now, this is, I'm going to say this. This is going to be very hard for some of you watching maybe to fathom. But when God looks at you, to him, you're no different or less righteous than Jesus. That's true. Did you hear what I just said to you? No less righteous because of the blood He sees you right here. I was talking to our son, John, about it. I said, son, when God looks at Jesus and he looks at you, he doesn't see you any less righteous. 
So because of that blood, God is focused on the good in you. But I want to draw attention to something. I want to go to the book of Nehemiah in chapter 5. I like Nehemiah. Nehemiah. That's a great book. It is a great book. I mean, there's so many sermons in the book of Nehemiah. But this, <laughs> I, think we <laughs> I, mean, can, I think we've all, everybody in the body of Christ, preached yeah, the whole book. But I uh, just want to pull out a scripture here in, in, in Nehemiah, the fifth chapter. All, Nehemiah prayed something or spoke something several times mm -hmm. in this book. And I really believe that when something is emphasized this much in the Bible, it's because God has a message that he really wants to impart to us. And in verse 19, you remember all the good things Nehemiah did. He rebuilt the wall in Jerusalem and he restored the, the, the works of the ministry. He restored those that had been abused. He gave back to them and restored their property. Uh, you know, Nehemiah was really a hero in the kingdom of God. But in verse 19, he finally looks up to God after he'd done all the good deeds that he did. And he said, think upon me, my God, for good. In other words, Lord, I'm asking you to focus on the good in me. See all the good I've done. I'm sure Nehemiah was no different than you and I. Mm -hmm. He probably realized he had some failures. He probably realized he had a few faults and some shortcomings. He probably realized maybe he acted up now and then, but mm -hmm. he asked God or he was imploring God to focus on the good. Mm -hmm. And, and so now if you go through the book of Nehemiah, in fact, let me just show you these really quickly. Not only did he say it there, you could flip over to Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 14. Now this was after he restored the treasurers to the house of the Lord. He gave back to the Levites the things that were properly due to them that wasn't being given to them while they were in bondage. And in verse 14, he says, remember me, oh my God, concerning this good. Again, he said, Lord, remember me for good. Then if you wow. flip over again toward the end of the book of Nehemiah in verse 22, he said it again, God, look on me for good. And then the book ends with this. You may not have even known this before, but verse 31, the very last verse of Nehemiah says, oh Lord, remember me, my God, for good. Now, I want to encourage amazing, you brother. today that the Lord is not up there pointing the finger at your faults. He is your biggest fan. He is out looking at the good in you. God is, is pointing right at your life going, come on, man, you can do it. You've got so much going for you. I see all your talents. I see all the things that you do well. I'm looking at what I have made you to be. God is pulling out of your life your potential. And so I want to encourage you and Hank, we're going to yeah. pray for the people in just a few Excellent. moments that God is emphasizing the good. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to be condemned in any no. way today. You're covered with the blood and God's emphasis on your life is that you are good. I think what we need to do is maybe ourselves stop focusing on our faults so That's much right. and start emphasizing the good of our life. Let's minister to the people for a moment. And I really want to, I'm going to have you pray. Sure. I want to break a spirit of condemnation from people's life and encourage them to receive an encouraging word from God in their heart and in their soul. And, and here's what I really believe. I believe if you listen when we pray in just a moment, you're literally going to hear the Holy Spirit. In fact, one morning I was praying in my prayer time and I heard the Lord say, I want you to quiet down. I want to compliment you this morning. I said, Lord, for what? He said, can a father just compliment their children? I just want to give you something and tell you something I really like about you. I believe as we pray, you're going to hear something from God that he loves about your life. And I want you to listen. God may tell you, I love your sense of humor. God may tell you, I really like it when you do this. I really think you're special because of this. I want you to hear God tell you something amazing about your life. Hank, let's pray for him and expect yes. them to receive that touch Father, right now. Father, we pray for these right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And I pray that they would begin to have their hearing anointed. Those that have ears to hear, hear the Spirit of God telling you about the goodness, not only of God, but the goodness that you have. And I break the power of condemnation off of you and off of your mind and all of those thoughts that come into your being and tries to demean you. And yes, I say from this right. moment forward, God's Spirit reveals to you the good that you are that you've been and how much how special you are to God himself so Lord open up their hearing 
Give them the ability to know and to understand that, God. And let your goodness cover them in an incredible way. It's been good to be with you today. We love you so much. We want to see you succeed. God sees the good in you. We're Hank and Brenda taking you with your good God to a whole new level.